Well, good morning. Welcome to Debbie's Back Porch. Yesterday was Thanksgiving and I made a cheesecake and my granddaughter Jessica made chocolate sauce to go on top. So here's the recipe. You can pause and write this down. And we appreciate it if you'd give us a thumbs up and share this video with your friends. Let's get cooking. Well, we're ready to go. Meet Jessica. You'll meet her more later. Uh, the first thing we do is assemble all of our dry ingredients. And we have here a teaspoonful of cornstarch. A cup of unsweetened cocoa powder. You find this in the baking section. This is one cup of Splenda. And a quarter teaspoonful of salt. Mix this all together well. Now I have no heat on. We're just mixing the dry ingredients in my cast iron, enameled cast iron pan. You want a heavy pan. Then three quarters cup water. Mix this in. And five ounces of whole milk. You could use half and half. Uh, I wouldn't use cream. Makes it just a little bit too thick. And we're just going to slowly incorporate that all in. And we'll turn our heat on to medium. And it takes a little bit to get this all stirred in together. And cocoa will fly if you're not careful. You'll have it all over your stove like we did. But just stir, stir, stir. So really all that's left to do is to bring this to a gentle boil. And then you want to leave it on a gentle boil for about five minutes. And I'll time lapse this for you so you can see the sauce come together. Um, as you go, just stir it down and you have to whisk it the whole time. And I'll also take the opportunity to tell you this is not um, a translation directly to a sugar recipe. This is adapted for use with Splenda. Um, and there is a very easy sauce to make with sugar, but on each sugar we eat Splenda. And you can see it's starting to thicken up there. Um, so you could also use monk fruit, which is something I've been using more and more. It tastes wonderful. It's a little more expensive than Splenda. And you can see we do have our gentle boil going and it must boil for five minutes. So let's check our texture here. And I'm going to give it a little bit of taste. Um, and it's, it's good. It's really good. So we'll let it go this whole five minutes after it comes to the gentle boil. And then we turn off our heat and add our vanilla. And we'll just continue and stir that all in until the heat uh, lowers and it stops bubbling. We'll give it one more little taste. And I think we're about there. Now we're going to let this cool just a little bit. Then we're going to put it on our cheesecake. You can save this in the fridge uh, and just gently heat it and reuse it. Or you can put it on the table and have people serve themselves. So I'm going to drizzle some of this over my cheesecake. If I were serving it as individual pieces, I would drizzle some of this all over the plate and then set a little wedge of cheesecake right in the middle of it. Uh, but we're just going to put it directly on the cake this time. And you can do it any way you like. It is thickening as it cools. So if you want to reuse it later, uh, you would heat it up. I think just a couple seconds in the microwave would be all you need. Uh, or you could uh, put it in some boiling water and gently heat it that way. So let's cut a little wedge of this cake 
and let Jessica have a taste of her hard work. So meet Chef Jessica, my favorite granddaughter. Uh, and she's going to taste of her chocolate and cheesecake. And tell us what she thinks. Yeah. You want to try this? This is great stuff and sugar-free. Friendly for the diabetics in your family. Or the folks who just watch sugar intake. Thank you for joining us on Debbie's Back Porch. So glad to have you and hope to see you again tomorrow.